hello everyone. I am Solomon Acosta and welcome back to oil painting for you. Today, I'd like to share with you how we created this amazing painting of Pine Crest Lake in a traditional oil painting style. I'm gonna be creating this painting from a 16 by 20 inch MDF oil prime panel that I've made myself. Here we have a picture of Pine Crest Lake that I've made a printout of. Okay, so we're also gonna be talking about color temperature, focal point, and composition. And we're gonna use the grid to transfer the drawing onto our MDF oil prime panel. Okay, so let's get started. I have a scale here and we're gonna map out our grid. We will be dividing the canvas into one third equal portions. We're using paint to draw our grid line. This is a mixture of asphaltum with gamsol. This will help us to locate a lot of our drawing, a lot of these shapes. The focal point will be here in this rock in the highlight. And then you'll also see it transferred onto here for our focal point. And then we can map out each square how much information we're going to apply into our into our painting. Now that we have our grid, we can transfer our drawing shapes onto it by mapping out in each square how much information we want to apply or omit. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a look at the colors that are on our palette today. Warm colors are up top. Cool colors are on the right. I'm gonna use quite a bit of Gamsol along with ultramarine blue and asphaltum. If you wanna be loose and have freedom with your painting, this is a great way to start. This is a technique that's used by plein air painters or painters who paint outdoors. I picked this up when I went to a workshop by Stefan Bauman in Mount Shasta. We're keeping this mixture thin and kind of runny. Now that the wash is done, we'll start to do some wipeout. Wipeout's a technique where you take a paper towel and basically you're just wiping away. You wipe away your drawing. You need to add a little bit of Gamsol can uh, take away. It's basically like erasing. So we're going to start to erase some of our drawing. The sky needs some warmth in it, but we could wipe away a lot of this. This not only helps create your drawing and your composition, but it also adds something for you to add more paint on top of. I'm gonna redraw our grid lines now. So this gives us our focal area again. Now we have some place to judge what our shapes of lights and shadows are. We're going to use the grid and we're going to continue to draw by doing wipeout technique. I'm taking a blue shop towel and lightly dipping it in some Gamsol so that we can remove some of these shapes and see where our highlights will be. take a few minutes and continue to erase and draw out our composition before we even do any painting. And there's a big rock right here that goes right down from the center. Nice 
this white shape coming in here, almost like an arrowhead. And we'll keep working on this technique until we're absolutely comfortable with our composition. And I see a rock coming in here. In this square I'm working right now, so I see a couple things going on right here. And some rocks heading back and some things poking out over here. This is all part of the trail that my wife and I hiked at Pinecrest Lake when we were there. You can really already see it start to take form. Start adding a little bit more value back behind this lake here. Where we did a little bit too much wipeout. Looking at our log in this area. I have a highlight here I want to stay away from. And that's the highlight. Here's the log. And there's a little bit of water underneath there. We always hear artists saying, we're not really looking at any detail right now. This is probably exactly what they're talking about. We just see a log here. I'm staying away from a negative value that I've erased already and I'm just placing in marks that describe where more eventually I will get darker in that area. We should remember to take a couple steps back every now and then and take a look at our work. We're constantly making adjustments to the drawing and values at this point. This is how a lot of the old masters used to compose their underpaintings. We're gonna to start to describe the trees that are in the background. Okay, our wipeout's done, and we did some more drawing to add value to some of our shapes. So now we're gonna start to add color. And for that, we're gonna start right in the focal point. When we put in our highlights, we wanna make horizontal strokes. This helps bring out the lighting. We're working from the focal point outward. This is where we'll find the most detail and the highest contrast in value.
Okay, our focal point is established. We got a lot of color in our painting. And now it's time to describe some of the foreground area. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the content that I create. And if you are interested in landscape, still life, or portraiture painting, feel free to contact me.